back to living passionately with Pat Brown. Thank you so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Thank you for liking, sharing, and watching this video. First, I want to start off by saying happy Black History Month. February is the month that Black History is celebrated across the U.S. So, for this video, will be dedicated to Black History Month with an emphasis on small businesses. And I found an article recently that I, I really thought was interesting and I decided I would share some of the information here today. This article stated that Black businesses has the potential to add $190 billion to the economy. $190 billion to the economy. So what does that say for us? It talk, That says that yes, we are growing. It says that we are doing our part to keep the U.S. economy going and yes and that we are driving however with this information we also learned that with a recent study by Shopify they found that black businesses had a startup capital of approximately $35,000 compared to other startup businesses that started with about $107,000 compared to $35,000 thousand dollars in capital so that's why like almost three times the amount yeah and that was information also from a McKinsey study yet they still found that we can add 190 billion dollars to the economy the report also showed that 44 percent of black businesses are still having challenges getting funded and another 60 percent said that they found it challenging to get grants. Meanwhile, 78% and this number is high. I was very surprised to see this number. 78% said they found it hard to get support from non-Black customers. So 78% felt like non-Black customers were spending their money buying anything from them or us Black businesses. But we know that we spend our money wherever. So what does that say to us as Black-owned businesses? Like, who are we spending or even as consumers like who are we spending our money with like we want the same support and the same respect that we are giving to others when it comes to spending and investing our dollars the shopify report also said that 54 percent of black businesses felt like there was a lack of community they felt alone and that they did not have the necessary tools for IT and sales. However, despite those challenges, 68% said they felt optimistic about business growth. They felt optimistic that now is a great time to be in business. They felt optimistic that they do have opportunities available to grow their business or start a business. However, despite all these challenges, 83% felt like this was the best time ever to start a business. Now that is encouraging. Despite the challenges, despite not being able to get funding or grants, despite other people not supporting our businesses, we still felt optimistic like this is the best time and that they have decided to, the words of the article, is that 83% of small businesses felt like it was their time to shine. Now that is amazing, that is so encouraging and I was so excited to read that part in the article. So getting back to Black History Month, yes we celebrate Black History but every day we are in business. So this is a reminder to those that are listening, if you have a business, thumbs up, hang in there, keep pushing. And to those that do not make sure that you are supporting black businesses because we're not getting the support from other people that we need. So if you can buy something from a small business, if you can get your services, your new bag or whatever you're looking for from a small business, please reach out. Please share and help us to continue to grow and develop. But I want to go back to the fact that some small business owners felt a lack of community and that they might be alone. 
own. So there are some services that you can reach out to for help. And first of all, do I want to say that you, sh you should find within your local communities that there are small business associations, that there are things like um, the Chamber of Commerce that does have information available for small business. And then if you could find a group, I am part of this excellent organization called Marls NYC. Marls NYC recently launched a Buy Black website, and this Black Buy Black website is for consumers and business owners. Business owners can advertise their business on the site. Everyone will be vetted to place their business on the site. There is a fee, there are different levels to be on the site, and consumers can get on that site for free and support these black businesses. Okay, so that is one great website. You can go to moralsnyc.com to get further information. There is also what is known as the Community Development Financial Institution Fund, also known as CDFIs. And those are alternatives to traditional banks to provide funding for black businesses. They're flexible with borrowing. There are, of course, rules that you have to follow and guidelines. So you have to make sure you have things like your taxes in place, you have your, um, your W-2s for your employees and stuff like that if you have employees or if you have startups, there are different ways that, that um, CDFIs can help you with financing. There's also the JP Morgan Chase Black Pathways. Actually, it's called the JP Morgan Chase Advancing Black Pathways. And this is an initiative that was launched by JP Morgan Chase to provide pathways for black businesses. And there's an initial commitment of $30 billion that they tend to give out by 2020. 25 to help black businesses strive. So check that out with Chase Bank. There's also the Black Business Association, BBA, which was founded in 1970 and that advocates for black businesses to also help improve access to capital and procurement opportunities. So if you are in a business where there's opportunities for grants and government contracts, they can reach out to the Black Business Association for further information. There's also the Coalition to Back Black Businesses, spearheaded by American Express and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation, another organization to help with the National Business League, U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and Walker Legacy. They help provide up to $10 million in grants and training for Black and minority businesses. There is the Black Business Alliance. It's their work with Black businesses also nationwide to promote and grow Black small to medium-sized businesses. There's also the Minority Business Development Agency. I have used them in the past. They're also known as the MBDA. They're also part of the U.S. Um, Department of Commerce. And they help you to get certifications, funding, they guide you with getting contracts and certification. So I just want to encourage you that, you know, you're not alone in your business. Feel free to email me, text me, or send a message on YouTube uh, if you need additional information about getting any help or finding an organization to help you with your business capital. I'll be happy to refer you. Um, again, if you are local in New York City, I really encourage you to reach out to Marls NYC. That's M-A-R-L-S-N-Y-C.com for further information on the Buy Black Initiative where you can advertise your small business and find a community of like-minded Black businesses that are thriving and working to help each other win. I believe in you. I know you can't do this. You got this. Happy Black History Month. And most of all, continue pushing, continue believing, and I wish you much, much success. You know, people call me all the time, Annette, I need a, 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 a Black real estate person. I need a Black insurance person. I need a Black whatever. It's like they didn't know where or where to go. Yes. All right. Course. So that's where the malls buy black marketplace is about. A place, a directory 
you know, to allow us to make, to make it easier for us to support black businesses in yes. Southeast Queens. Because all the businesses in Southeast Queens are going to be on this Malls by Black digital marketplace. They're going to be promoting their business. Malls is, gonna, is about helping them, you know, because not... Hi, I'm Annette Runcie. Chairperson of the Merchant Association of Rosalie Lawrence in the Springfield Garden, now referred to as Malls NYC. And I'm here with Mike Duncan, the co-chair. So excited. Co-chair of Malls and also UNIA, right? President General. President General of UNIA. And I'm excited about this because we joined force in creating Malls. It's one of the founders of Malls. It was six of us in 2016. And we created Malls because we... We wanted to see the businesses in Southeast Queens thrive. It was obvious that through the corridors and the business corridors that the businesses were not um, showing the amount of income that was coming into Southeast Queens. Southeast Queens currently brings in over $9 billion of income in black uh, um, household. And however, it was not reflected in the businesses in the corridors, um, the business corridors um, in Southeast Queens. And so a few of us, about six of us, uh, Mike and I included, came together and said, we must do something. We must change something um, so that the businesses in our community can flourish and therefore our community can flourish. Of course. Because they talk about it all the time, right? Yes. That a community is defined by its small business. Well, guess what? Our business was definitely not thriving. And so we wanted to make sure that our business thrive and the money stay in our community. Because yes. that $9 billion, as soon as it comes in, it was leaving our community. Oh, and so Malls NYC was about how do we develop the businesses? How do we make sure that they're doing um, business um, in regard to the need of the community? You know, not because you, you like to cook or da-da-da-da. You know, food happened to be one of the top lists. But we wanted to make sure they were clear on the need of the community. They have the right business. Um, they are thriving. They have the proper development, you know. And so that's what Malls NYC about. How do we support the black businesses in our community so that they can thrive? Now, I'm excited about launching this Malls by Black initiative. This is going to be a digital platform that will provide um, a, 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 a platform for black businesses so that we are able to more support the businesses. It's all about how do these businesses able to, to, to flourish, yeah. right? And they can't flourish without the community support. They can't flourish without folks spending money with them. You know, and that's how we're going to help to keep the monies in our community. So why is that so important? Yes, uh, Michael Duncan, Vice President of Mars, New York City. It is very important, Annette, because we have to keep structure and growth in our community. For us to have better schools, for us to have better policing, better services, we need a strong economic system in our community. For that to happen, my friends, we have to support our local business because through supporting our local business, we can keep you em employed. We can ensure that your homes are not foreclosed, but we have to put the black businesses in the black community first. Remember, any, any, any community that doesn't take care of itself, my friends, sooner or later die. So we have to ensure we create that growth, that wealth, and that stability in our community through the Buy Black program. My friends, we must put our community businesses first. Thank you. That's right, that's right, and that's what it's all about. So one of the big um, complaints that folks used to have was like, we don't know, you know, people call me all the time, Annette, I need a, 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 a black real estate person. I need a black insurance person. I need a black whatever. It's like they didn't know where or where to go. Yes, All right, course. so that's where the malls buy black marketplace is about. A place, a directory, you know, to allow us to make, to make it easier for us to support black businesses in yes. Southeast Queens. Because all the businesses in Southeast Queens are going to be on this malls buy black digital marketplace. They're going to be promoting their business. Moss is going to, is about helping them, you know, because not many of us, we heard about this digital divide and it's the truth because not many of us know how to promote our business digitally. So that's what malls is about. How do we help 
these businesses to promote their 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 stuff. Um, you know, do digital marketing, and that's the Moss by Black is going to provide. So you'll have your directory, and you'll be able to go on, see all the businesses, so that you are able to support. You'll be able to buy online, you know, and you can also go to them physically if they have a brick and mortar. So Moss by Black Initiative launching February the first. Use right? it. Use it.